Have you guys ever tried to play Minecraft with some of your favorite mods and you're presented with a screen like this? Today, guys, I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy guide on how you can get mods from Forge, Fabric, and Neoforge all working together in the same mod pack using two quick and easy mods to install. Let's get right into it. For this quick and easy setup, I'm personally going to be using the CurseForge app to build my pack. You can use the Essentials client or the traditional Forge way. It's up to you. For me personally, I find it easy to navigate and build packs through CurseForge. So let's get right into it. So if you're copying me and you're on CurseForge, let's head over to the create and create our pack. And let's automatically select the version 1.20.1 because that's what the Forge API and the Synaptic connector is limited to. And make sure you're on Forge version 47.4.0 and make sure you have Forge ticked on. And let's just call this video. Let's create the pack and go straight in. And what we wanna do is head over straight to add content and let's search up the mods we need, which the first one is gonna be Forgeified API. Hit install and it will automatically install the required dependencies along with it. And then let's also get Sinatra. Sinatra might be a confusing one, but it is S-I-N-Y. Head over to this and install this one and you can install this one just in case. If we go to our pack, we should have these installed and it should be here. You can obviously activate them and deactivate them and you can bend them if you would like. And then let's go back to add content and try and find two mods that are incompatible with each other by default. A Forge exclusive mod I'm thinking of off the top of my head would be Sophisticated Backpacks. Sophisticated Backpacks is an exclusive Forge storage mod. So let's hit install and it should install it automatically to our pack. And then let's think of a fabric mod off the top of my head. I don't know why, but I'm thinking of Cobblemon. So let's get Cobblemon. For this one, you're gonna have to click actually on the mod and then go to versions. Scroll down to see 1.20.1, fabric and hit install. And it will install it into our pack. Let's go back to our pack here. And it will say this incompatible, but it really is not incompatible and we're gonna hit play. The Minecraft launcher should be loading up and as it has, let's click play again. Just keep in mind guys that it will take a minute to load and it will come up with this on your screen saying transforming jars connector. It's pretty much just trying to make the mods work. It, that's the simplest way I can describe it. It's just trying to make the mods work together and it's trying to load up the game and make it all smooth and good for you. So just give it a second and it will load up as soon as it can. Press enter and there to we are, the our narrator. Minecraft is loaded up. Let me just quickly fix some settings and we're gonna hop straight in game to prove this has worked. And here we are in our Minecraft world. And just to prove to you guys that this has worked, let's go to E and we're gonna search backpack. And there we have a backpack. And as you can see, all of the Cobblemon items are all here. And just to double prove to you that it's worked, let's hit the M button and we're gonna select Squirtle as our starter. And we are going to throw them out now. There we go. We have successfully merged a forge and a fabric mod together and there we have it guys if you guys have found this tutorial helpful and want to see more please make sure to subscribe we're racing towards 1k and it would honestly mean the world if you could and also be sure to join my discord as i'm going to be dropping some more and more content in the next couple of weeks so be prepared for that and yeah i'll see you guys on the flip side peace out